Hey guys, welcome to the bus life. And I know it's been a really long time since we posted last, but we've kind of taken a little bit of a break. So during times where we're not posting as many videos, there's other ways you guys could follow and keep up with what we're doing. We have an Instagram account under the name of The Bus Life Show. Um, we have our Bus Life Facebook page. We have our goodnewsbus.com website. So there's a lot of different ways you can actually stay up with what we're doing. Um, if, we're, if we don't have enough videos coming out, you can kind of still follow our journey. Yeah, it's every time, every once in a while, we need a break as well. And, you know, filming is a lot of work, especially if um, we're working yeah. and trying to make a little money so that we can fund more traveling, that it's really hard to vlog and edit and yeah. work as well. So. And if you want to support our videos and support our efforts on YouTube, you can easily do that by going to patreon.com and type in the bus life and you could support us there for as little as a dollar a month. And it basically goes to, you know, keeping our equipment fresh, putting some more fuel in the tank and just, you know, it just shows your support for our, our efforts on YouTube. So it really helps out. Yeah. So the last time uh, we would have seen you guys is when we were in New Hampshire area and we were doing some work up there, just kept pretty busy and um, visiting people, meeting new people. It was a really good time actually. Back in New Hampshire, we had the opportunity to go golfing for the first time ever. Mr. David Smith took us out. So did they just tee off down there? No. So they only made it that far? Yeah. And it was so fun. We had such a blast driving. It's both going. This is the bus life and this is golfing day. He's being beaten by his younger brother. Feeling very disappointed about the last round. Trying to pull out the skills I learned in the video game, you know, where you play golf. And it's just, you know, I used to be really good at golf in the video game and it just isn't working for me here. Yes! Yeah, there you go. That's a good ball. Wow. Oh, nice. Felt pretty good at the end. Dropped a nice putt. Get hit a nice. I think we're hitting that way. Oh, no. Um, putting. Oh, oh way too far. Oh. Nice putt. And it was our first time, so it was like, Awesome, because I always wanted to go golfing on a golf course, and we finally did it. But we did terrible, though. But I think I did better. No, your putting was not your very good. Your driving, like, was ugh. Oh, hey! Man. Okay, we're on our last hole. Well, we had a, an amazing time golfing. Boy, that was fun. <laughs> so we're in Altoona, Pennsylvania at a Cracker Barrel. And our journey here from New Hampshire has been quite amazing. It's just a beautiful drive through the hills. I mean, we kind of didn't expect Pennsylvania. We've only seen kind of the more flatter <laughs> part of Pennsylvania. Well, we came right up the east side of Pennsylvania. And so I kind of thought it was mostly like farm country and some rolling hills, but I wasn't expecting it to be like this amazing. It kind of reminds me more of Tennessee. Yeah. Um, so I'm really glad that we've been able to see I guess the rest of Pennsylvania. It's yeah, been... you feel like you're at some points driving through the clouds because there's yeah. literally clouds at the level you're at and the weather has just been beautiful. We did hit some rain, but for the most part, it's been very cool and nice and mm -hmm. it's but... been awesome. <laughs> yeah. So before we left New Hampshire, um, we were contacted by a couple named Steve, Steve and, and Kelly. Kelly. And they have a bus conversion they're actually in the middle of working on. So they gave us a tour of their bus conversion. All right, guys, we're here with Steve and Kelly. 
and we're gonna get a tour of their bus conversion. Now you guys don't have a name for it yet, right? Not yet. Not yet, so they're still working on a name, but uh, we wanna see their bus. It's a 2007 International 37 foot school bus. Right. And it was for handicap use, so it came with air conditioning, tinted windows, it has air suspension, DT-466 yeah. diesel engine. It's got a 2500 Allison motorhome transmission. So this one obviously was geared for highway use because he said he was running about 70 miles an hour at 2200 RPMs, right? Yes. Yeah. So there's storage under here. This was one of the twin beds from the old camper. Truck fridge. 12 volt, right? Yep, oven here. Yeah. How do you find water. it work? Good. I haven't used the oven yet, yeah. but the burner's fine. But the light and hood and everything. This yeah. is <laughs> awesome. And this is this is the taller ceiling too. Like most school buses are more like around here. Yeah. So this is you've got a few like extra. We're sure. sure. <laughs> yeah. So this all came out of the camper. Right out of there. Yeah. There. In here. Bam. So this is the method he's using for his screens. I think it's a pretty good idea. So he's got these plastic strips that you got just out of vinyl siding, right? It's and it's vinyl so what you up. took you took this trim piece off. I just loosened the screws. Loosened it. And slid tucked, them under. Slid it under, and then put it in there. And so it just creates a channel, and he's got his screens that slide up or down. So you can slide it down and you, then you can raise your window if you want to, you know, up, out of the way. So it's a queen size bed. Isn't that fun, the bus? <laughs> I use steel studs okay. that I slit and bent. Yeah. And that's what the wall is screwed to on the ceiling. Right, yeah, I see that. Okay. So he had an old camper and took, you know, all of the stuff out of it, the cabinets, the sink, the counters, the stove. The walls, the door, right? The door too. Door, the yeah. Toilet, ground with a tub. Yeah. And the put it. Tanks. Put it in here. We recycle. So you've if got. You, Loop, if you come a in, tank I'll walk out. Under here. <laughs> okay. Black water, Black water and tank. gray water. Black water and gray water. And we've got a nice big shower mm -hmm. here. It actually is very large. It's very large. A tub shower area. This is the garage area, garage. accessible by the back door here. Now this originally was a handicap bus, so it had the handicap lift in it right here, and he did something really cool with that. All right guys, so I wanna show you one of the innovations that Steve has made on this bus that I think is really cool, and this is it right <coughs> here. What he did is he took the old wheelchair lift and he made a rack for his 900 pound motorcycle to go on and it works perfect. Woo! Look at that. Cool. It works. Here it is. I do have pictures of it with the bike on it. Yeah. So. If you guys want the plans to do this, you gotta contact Steve. For a small fee. No? Yeah, right. <laughs> So if someone were to go out and buy a motorcycle lift for their bus, I mean, do you know what they generally run? $5,000. $5,000. And how much do you think you have into this? A hundred. A hundred bucks. And he's got a no number of safety uh, measures in place. He built these, these things here. So these slide in. After the so this, after After this is up, slide that in so the platform actually sits on this so it cannot come down and then he's got some other safety features that lock all of it together when it's up Until next time, we will see you guys on the road. <laughs> see you guys. Bye. Bye. I'm so happy.
Thank you.